Hello everyone, welcome back to some more crosswords. We're doing the Friday today, June 26th. Let's get started. Revlon Subsidiary. Revlon is like a, a makeup company, right? Or uh, like a shampoo or something? I think of them associated... Revlon makes like lipstick, right? So yeah, but I don't know what their subsidiary is called. Uh, accumulate with up, I don't know, you save something up, something builds up. Enliven. Uh, we'll pencil in save up, I guess. I don't think it's right, but it might be. Um, because something that, uh, save kind of implies more intent than accumulate does. Um, right, dust accumulates, but you don't save it up. Return some calls. Oh, geez. Are they looking for fold here, as in poker? You're returning calls, like the chips that you could win from fold from calling. No. Return some calls. Not sure. They're full of endless drama. Soap operas, perhaps? Okay. Oh, a rush order is ASAP, right? You would order something. It's not like a rush order is like, oh, I placed a rush order. I guess it kind of is. But it's also an order to rush. Give me that ASAP. Uh, Lover of Tony in a hit 1978 song. No idea. Sheltered Walk. So I think this means a walkway that is sheltered, not like the way a sheltered person would walk. I almost want to say Eve, E-A-V-E. -E. I don't really think of that as being a walk, though. Usually those are just there to protect like a porch or something, right? What's this? Bucko is pal. Ugh. Okay, so it's not an Eve, that's good, I guess. What many use to solve the New York Times crossword, an app. Avon makes lipstick, or makeup rather, but doesn't fit here, and also I doubt it's a Revlon subsidiary. I hardly recognize the person I see. You've changed? Does that fit? Sure. Amway? Is Amway a Revlon subsidiary? Oops, put a W there, please. Mona? I don't know, could be. Like some cleaners. Anna something? But then we have this weird wow. I don't know. Cleaners, like I'm thinking cleaning chemicals, not people who clean, probably. One letting off steam. You let off steam if you're angry, but also if you're like an engineer of a, of a train. I'm not sure. Limit of one's patience. The end of your rope. Um, not sure. Ian's relative? I had to like look really close to that to make sure that was a capital I and not like they'd somehow snuck a lowercase l there, even though it's obviously absurd. Ian's relative? I don't know what that's about. I think it's not a specific Ian but somehow a relative of like the word Ian or the letters like 
a name that comes from the same place that Ian comes or something. I don't know. That's a weird one. Response to are we there yet? No. Wait. Soon. Soon. That's what you say to get kids to shut up. We'll be there soon. Lowest notes. Well, we can put an S here. Both crosses have a plural. Low-lying areas. Hmm. A claim. Is a claim of valor? I don't think it is. But I'll pencil it in. You gotta you gotta like take some guesses on a Friday. Strollers through Covent Garden. Covent Garden? I don't know where that is. Dishes usually served on cold plates. Well, salads. No, cold plates. Salads aren't served on hot plates, but they're not served on cold plates. They're served on like medium, like room temperature plates. Stuff served on cold plates is like desserts of various kinds, right? A PhD for one. Well, it's a degree, but it's also an abbreviation. All right, sure, I'll try it. Mm. One taking the high road. Uh, well, a stoner kind of takes the high road, right? They take the road of being high. <laughs> it's a stretch. Um, I can't think of anything else that's like really called the high road that would deserve a question mark here. I think it has to be about getting high. I'm not sure though. Place to sleep on the go, a bench. Unexpected delight, don't know. Big name in water filters is Brita, so it was an abbreviation. Liquids in shots. So shots are like small alcoholic beverages, but they're also um, like injections. Liquids in shots, is, are they anything else? I can't think of anything. Luxury stadium seating. Well, there's like, they have those, they have box seats, right? Those are very luxurious. In some sense, like being down near the sidelines is also luxurious, but it's not really luxurious so much as it is like privileged in a way. There's not luxury there, right? You're enjoying it for other reasons. Blank mission. Don't know. GG composer. Also don't know. Hogwarts house. Okay, Ravenclaw. Greek spirits. So this could be like some particular kind of spirit from Greek mythology. It could also be like the Greek word for wines, perhaps. Um, there aren't that many sp like mythological references I can think of that fit in four letters plus an S, right? Even naiads are a bit long or dryads. Unaccounted for. Something unaccounted for is like lost in a way or missing. I don't think lost fits though. Hardy heroine. Uh, was the hero was there a heroine in the Hardy Boys novels back in the day, or are they just asking like Hardy as like just meaning the word itself? 
Or was there some other heroine whose name was Hardy and we're looking for her first name? I'm not sure. I mean, so... All right. Here's the thing. It looks like there's an S here from the Greek things. There might not be, but it's, it seems likely. And, like, one of the most famous recent heroines I can think of is Elsa. And then I was like, oh my god, there's an S here? Really? Elsa? I don't think of her as particularly hardy, but maybe there's a hardy in that movie or something? I know there's an Olaf. I would be surprised to find a hardy as well. Country whose currency is the Kwanzaa? Algier? Wait, is that... Is that how you spell the country name? There's like, I don't know, six letters, something African with a G here? The only one I can think of. Kind of artist who's not very good. Nope, it's not Algier. Because an artist is a con artist. They're, they're not good, as in they're, they're bad people, so to speak. Um, Angora is a, also a country, right? Although this double A does not seem right. Maybe it's not it? I thought Angora was a country. I don't know. I'm not very good at this. Uh, some TripAdvisor listings. Hotels, I guess? SS? Hmm. Suspicious. Who turned Medusa's hair to serpents per Ovid? It must have been Athena. Oh, right. Athena was jealous of her beauty and turned her into a hideous snake? Hmm. Snake thing, anyway. A, a Gorgon, right? Hawaiian raw fish dish. Mahi? No. They have like ahi tuna there, but that's three letters, and it's not usually raw, is it? Hit below the belt. Probably something that ends with ed. Um, right? You like the past tense of hit is hit. So if you hit someone below the belt, you punch them below the belt, for example. But it has to be something that fits these three letters and is related to being below the belt somehow. Blank Davis Institute, no idea. Ganders, e.g. Well, a gander is like a baby... No. It's a male goose, I think? No, I'm not sure. Because a gosling is like a... But I thought male geese were cobs. No, a cob is a swan, right? So I think a gander is a male goose, but I'm not sure how that helps here. Let it go? Is it an Elsa-themed puzzle? <laughs> Bird with nostrils at the tip of its beak. Ooh, I don't know. Dramatist Chekhov. Well, that's Anton Chekhov. Ah, you need someone if you hit them below the belt. Bird with a K, huh? Let it go, let it be. I feel like it has to be an I here. How about this down? We've got a lot now. Um, on is that in to, yeah, I don't know. Honored newlyweds say, well, you could almost fit royal couple in here. I can't think of any other newlyweds who are particularly more honored than others. Something not much worn in the summer. Well, like a jacket. Sunscreen? Don't know. Furry little pest. Ten letters? Squirrel's too short. So 
some sort of rat? I'm sure in some places in the world, guinea pigs are considered pests. They do fit here. No, that's nine letters. Need You Tonight Band, 1987. Don't know. Mother of Hamnet Shakespeare? No idea. Oh! Um, but would that be like William Shakespeare's wife, maybe? Maybe he had a kid named Hamnet? Well, maybe they together had such a kid. What was his, his wife's name was Anne, wasn't it? A-N-N-E? Program that might request a portfolio in brief? I mean, programs and portfolios are kind of related to IRA, IRA, um, but I don't understand like how it, that would request a portfolio, right? I'm just trying to see if Anne might make sense. Board game bonus. Hmm. Garden with fruit trees was Eden, okay. So I'll take Anne. Get out director, don't know. Key for a high pitched clarinet. I don't know, A flat? It's a mystery to me. Not my problem. Hmm. Well, okay, let's work on the downs just more generally, I guess. Lover of Tony. I don't know, we can, we can pencil in an N, I guess. Mona is conceivably a name that someone might have. Sheltered walk, this still seems wrong. Enliven. Don't know. One letting off steam. Ah, the limit of one's patience is uh, there. Lat, come on, last straw. Okay, good. Something builds up it. Uh, pile, pile up. Something piling up is accumulating. Ian's relative, ES. I don't know. One letting off steam. An ire. Ireer, like someone who ires, that doesn't sound right to me, but ire does relate to anger. Ah, to enliven something is to pep it up. Pep up. Uh, vaunt, as in much vaunted, I guess. One letting off steam? Iron, no. Is there some way that iron, I-R-O-N, could be considered to be letting off steam? Ah, of course. Like an iron that uh, you iron your clothes with lets off steam. Ah, aha. Some cleaners are all purpose. Essay? Is Ian's relative? How? I don't get it. Um, strollers through Covent Garden. Prags? No. Prowls, no. Prams, prams, strollers, as in like a, a pram is a word for a stroller, but also like the word comes from perambulate, meaning to walk. Um, so maybe it could be, could be prams. 
I don't know what... It's a little weird, because stroller means pram, but through... The, the strollers don't really themselves go through Covent Garden, typically, right? I don't know. M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T. Everyone... <laughs> it's well known. Everyone who strolls through that area is a total prat. Ha ha. I think prams is the only thing that makes sense there. This could be like Kemp. That's a name. Blank C T E. That's kind of a weird. Anyway, we're up. We're up here. Um, Lola, perhaps. Oh, like the famous. Oops, the famous song Lola. Is that? A 1978 song about loving Tony? Maybe. Um, sounds like the right time period anyway. A uh, sheltered walk is kind of a hall though, right? Is it anything else? A mall? Mm, a mall, kind of. Cause I just don't like Al Hay as the name of a of anything. Anyway, let's get let's get looking at some more downs here. I don't understand this one, but it seems to be obviously correct. Part of an exit strategy is an es escape route. Summer refresher. Cold drink. Okay. <laughs> Not quite, huh? Comfortably inviting. Comfortably inviting. Cozy, but that's too short. Return some calls starts with an E, huh? I still don't get it. Lowest notes. Don't know. Oh, did this did this C give us anything? Join us. Oh, I haven't even remember seeing that clue before. This is come on. Lowest notes. Hmm. I don't like the letters in soon that much. But the S was right, so the rest of it could be. Lowest notes. Tens, I don't see how that makes any sense. Not my problem. I don't understand the theme yet, right? These long answers are typically part of the theme. Even if there's not a revealer for the theme, they're somehow related. Um, and I mean, because of the rotational symmetry, this is supposed to be part of the theme and uh, also this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be don't something, like don't, I don't care, don't want to do it, I don't know. They can give you a bit of a lift, a bit of a lift, not just a lift, a bit of a lift. That's sort of odd. The hallux is the big one. I have no idea what the hallux is. I've never heard of such a thing. Liquids in shots. Like, all these crosses seem pretty good. But this is just bizarre. Anyway. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, para, per A, Q, R, S, ah, S, Sira, the plural of serum, I guess. There are, there are Sira in the shots because there's a serum in a shot. Got it. I don't, I don't, luxury stadium seating. Uh, I don't, the, the NIV is just so weird. An IV I, I don't know. Um, capital on the Arabian Peninsula. Oh, also notice Stoner has turned out pretty well. Board game bonus. This is really weird. Because extra turn fits very well, except for Ravenclaw, which is obviously correct. Huh. Must not be an extra turn. But it could be a something else turn, maybe. Maybe I'll even pencil in turn, just for some possible inspiration on the crosses. Unaccounted for. Ah, a wall, absent without leave. It's it's an abbreviation, but it's so common that it's kind of more like a full word, so it's okay that they didn't clue us the abbreviation in the clue, I think. Hardy heroine could be Bess or a lass. Lasses are not typically regarded as hardy, but Bess, I don't know, she sounds like a tough, tough as nails woman, right? Hmm. Indivisible entity. Something, something atomic is indivisible. Is there some synonym of atom that they're looking for here? I don't know. Get out, director, still don't know. Bird, this bird is a weird one. Oh, kiwi, a kiwi is a kind of bird, isn't it? It's a, like people from New Zealand are kiwis and there's a fruit called a kiwi, but a kiwi is also a kind of bird. I'll pencil it because I'm not totally sure, A, that it really is a bird, or B, that it's the right kind of bird. Booty. Loot is booty. Pronoun for Florence in Venice, say. Ugh. Okay, so Florence is a city, but it's also just the name of, like, it's just a first name, um, which I think it would be a feminine name, right? So we're looking for the feminine pronoun in Italian. Ella, A, L, I don't know. I'll pencil in the E-L because most, I don't know like much Italian, but most Romance languages have like, you know, Spanish has A, uh, France has L, um, Italian probably has something similar. We could even pencil in the second L to be honest. Decide to keep after all. I'm not sure what this is about. I'm also puzzled by this ganders, L-E. Oh, 
Okay, so it's not an eye rub. Well, okay, we don't know about this R. Hmm. That is dot 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 rough. Could be oof. I don't like this T in the middle of a key, right? Shouldn't it be like C major or A flat or something like that? I'm not a musician. Almay, Almay, I don't know, that could be, that, that could be the name of a brand, sure. Return some calls. What's a kind of call? Ah, yep, that, that's answered the question already. What's a kind of call other than a phone call? Remember we had one recently where uh, a call was a yell? This is exactly the way to return a yell is with an echo. O-N-Ns? I really don't think so. Stop! That's what you say when your kids keep asking, are we there yet? You just kind of whine at them to stop. Oh, a summer refresher might not be something that's um, refreshing in summer, but like summer school, right? Is You might take a refresher on like... Uh, I don't know, trigonometry before you start calculus, and you might do that over the summer. Hmm. Comfortably inviting. Lowest notes. I mean, O, A, B, C. D, almost nothing fits here, right? E, F, G, H, I, Oins, J, K, Oins, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, W, owns, owns is a word. What does that have to do with lowest notes? <sighs> Nothing as far as I can tell. Low lying areas. Low lying. This is like marshes and mires and swamps and bogs. Those are all basically the same thing. <laughs> um, vales maybe are low lying compared to the nearby mountains. I don't love it for sure. Visit. Well, to visit someone, you stop in or stop by. And it really shouldn't be stop by because a B here would be terrible, right? So say stop in. It's got to be come on, right? Maybe I'm wrong about come on. Maybe that explains why this is all such a mess. This could then be a cool... something. Ah! It could be stopped by, 
Yeah, if this were, uh... nope, homely doesn't fit. Dang it. Oh, homey, homey, right, that's what I meant. Homely is just meaning like not attractive, but homey, now that, that's a thing. Join us could just be come, 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 by the, sit, sit by the fire, right? Um, and then this could be cool. And the smallest, the lowest notes are ones, right? One dollar bills are the lowest note in American money. And a cool breeze is refreshing in the summer. All right, let's let's ink in stoner at this point. V, huh? Oh, maybe a Dale is low lying, actually. Don't something. Unexpected delight is a. Why did I have an N here? That's that's actually a mystery. Uh, but an unexpected delight is a rare treat. Toe. The hallux is the big toe. Well, the more you know, huh? Don't know this still? Ah! It, it's a different way of saying extra turn. A bonus is roll again. There you go. Tess, maybe? Hmm. Oh, I'm on a mission, sure. Country, oh, Angola. Is Angora a sweater and Angola's a country? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, S-A-N-A-A, -A -A, huh? I didn't know that. A Z, huh? So I think this is the name of a kind of drink made in Greece or something, or that's made famous by Greece. Like maybe it's Luzos or Kuzos. I don't know. But I'll, I'll pencil in this E, I guess. Hawaiian raw fish dish. Don't know. Don't know this institute either. Still don't get what Ganders is all about. Let it... Let it go, let it be... What is this? This is so weird. An... Ivy... <laughs> I just, I just have no idea what can go there. Likewise this. Maybe it's not a bench. Maybe it's something else. Place to sleep on the go. Maybe it's not a bench. Maybe, I mean, like, you can sleep on a bench at, like, an airport, right? Or a train station, especially. Um, but maybe it's, maybe it's something else. A beach. Sleep on the beach when you're on vacation. They can give you a bit of a lift. I mean, hear me out here. What if this said kitten? Right? Like kitten videos or something give you a bit of a lift. I can't see how to make videos out of the letters we have at the bottom. Um... Oh, also, this seems to end with S. Does that work here? Maybe. <sighs> Was I looking at downs? I've already lost track. I think so. Indivisible entity. I 
I don't know. Something, oh, you don't wear much wool in the summer. Okay, that hopefully helps a little. What? It did not help. I don't know, maybe it did, but I don't see it here. Um, oh, oh, it is kitten. It is kitten. Um, because kitten heels are like shoe, they're footwear that make you taller. That's how they give you a lift. A berth, I think, is like the, the, the room you're assigned to on like a submarine. Um, or probably indeed on a cruise ship. Um, they probably wouldn't call it berths because passengers would be confused, but that's what the, the crew would call it. What the hell is this? Oh, a private something. Aspics? All right. Private. Let it be. Private box. I knew it was box. I-N-X-S is the band, huh? For some reason, I want to put an L here, but I don't know why. It's because it's right. That's why. I, I just felt like an L here makes this name look right, but I don't. I don't know why. I can't think of this name. But as soon as I thought of putting an L here, I realized it's don't look at me. I don't see anything themish about these. These three we found, no, four, right? Is there no theme? That would be wrong. Uh, I still don't know this, unfortunately. Gina Davis, maybe? G-E-E-N-A somehow rings a bell? Indivisible entity. I mean, a word that fits here is honor, but I don't understand how that's an indivisible entity. Get out director, I still don't know. Oh, honor doesn't have to be an adjective. It can be a verb, right? We went to the wedding and we honored the newlyweds. Somehow. Made something. Had something. M. Ah, it is an M because an MFA, Master of Fine Arts, might want you to present a portfolio. And a furry little pest is a field mouse. So this wasn't loot after all. Right? I don't love this S. Ah, motels, because a monad is an indivisible, indivisible thing in philosophy. You honored newlyweds by making a toast. So you, if you honored them, you make, you made a toast. Well, actually, I still like that e, even though all the other guesses in that row were wrong. Peel, poke. Okay, I guess. It was oof. E flat, Asa, sure. Uh, booty is a hall. 
Decide to keep after all is stat. Oh, nailed it. That's um, that's an instruction that you would give to an editor, right? If the editor says like you should remove this word, you would reply, you know, you would mark it with stat, saying like, no, fuck you, leave it in. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, we actually we got this one. I thought I was gonna have to give up. Uh, at some point here, once I couldn't make any headway in the in the bottom half. Um, once again, I fail on Thursday and succeed on Friday. That's kind of a surprise. What's uh, what's the theme all about today? Wait until Friday night to solve the puzzle. What's that all about? Um, oh, they're they're telling me why it's published early. How cool! Um, when it was the Reese crossword was intended to match the first edition of the print, which was 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, sure. Okay, wait till Friday evening to solve the puzzle. Well, nobody reads this before solving the puzzle, right? Because you never know how far you'll get in before you see spoilers, so... Okay, tricky clues, return some calls, echo... Oh my god, don't be such a boomer, please. <laughs> um, maybe, uh... Yeah, soon. <laughs> uh, Jack Kemp, okay, I guessed that correctly. Stoner, yeah, made a toast. It's been 50 years since that showed up, interesting. Anne Hathaway. See, I thought, I thought so, but every time I think Anne Hathaway, I'm like, isn't that a, a person who's alive today? And I'm like, did I get the name wrong? Right? She's... Yeah, Anne Hathaway is an actress who is, like, alive and American today. Um, so whenever I'm like, isn't Shakespeare's wife Anne Hathaway? I'm like, no, she's alive now. You must have it wrong. That's why I didn't say Hathaway when we were solving. I thought I would look silly. Okay, so what the heck is this? Ian's... Uh, Ian's relative. Ah... The suffix I-A-N, and a relative of that is a suffix E-S-E. -E. Um, okay, Covent, Covent Garden is in England. I see, which is why, I don't know, through though? Strollers in, I'd be like, yeah, okay. Prams, got it. Kitten heels. Sira, yeah. But what 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 about the theme? Hmm. There, there just, like, is no theme. I thought you had to have a theme. Escape route. Don't look at me. You've changed. Kitten heels. So th he said there were eight long ones. Ah, I guess soap opera and all purpose. Made a toast. I say he. I didn't actually read anybody's gender. The author. Um, soap operas, all purpose, made a toast, field mouse. These seem totally unrelated, which I didn't think was allowed. Hmm. All right, we're going to do the mini today. No, no spelling bee. Fridays are just too, too long to do that. Coffee holder is a mug. No idea about that person. To bicker is to argue or fight. I'm not sure which, actually. Attractions of Fisherman's Wharf are peers. Throw in the mix is add, I guess. Maria. Strongly advised, urged, gourd, lens cover is a cap, and Carol? Yeah. I, I, uh, when I saw, I had G blank U R D, I very nearly just put an A there without looking at the clue, uh, because what other words fit here? But indeed, gourd fits. Yeah, I guess argue makes more sense than fight. Okay, well, that'll do it for today. I gotta go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.